Honourable Member for Skeena Bulkley Valley. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. But what the Liberals are saying is simply not true. It's the exact right. opposite of the truth. It's in fact one of those alternative facts that they've suddenly <laughs> grown so fond of. There was a consensus. It was the Liberals who just simply refused to listen to it. Ninety percent of experts and Canadians who came before us who testified said they wanted a proportional representation system. The recommendation from the Bloc, the Greens, the Conservatives, New Democrats called for a plan to bring in proportional representation. Well, there was actually one party that stood in the way of that consensus, and that was the Liberal Party of Canada. So it's a bit rich when the Liberals claim that there's no consensus when it's only Liberals standing in the way of that very consensus. The Honourable Minister of Democratic Institutions. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Our government will continue to act to strengthen our democracy. That's true. While we did not hear a consensus on a particular electoral system to replace the one we have now, Canadians were clear that we can do more to improve our democratic institutions. And what we did hear is that Canadians are proud of our democracy. That is why my new mandate letter includes protecting the integrity of our democracy by making our system less vulnerable to hacking and improving transparency by making parties political fundraising more open than ever before. We will always work to ensure our democracy represents the values of Canadians. Well, member for Skeena Bulkley Valley. You no, know, the, the minister keeps talking about her mandate, but I don't actually think she understands what the word fully means, because the mandate of a government doesn't come from some piece of paper handed to them by the prime minister. The mandate comes from the democratic will expressed by the voters of this country. And let me quote the prime minister. Just a few months ago, over 60% of Canadians voted in favour of parties that committed to changing the electoral system. That, in fact, is true. That's the Minister's mandate. That's this government's mandate. Is the Prime Minister so arrogant that he believes that he can change with a flick of a pen the mandate that was given to him by millions of Canadians? Honourable Minister of the Democratic Institutions. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. There is nothing more foundational than how we choose to govern ourselves as Canadians. We respect the views of Canadians and consulted extensively with them on this important issue. And we listened to Canadians. And we heard that Canadians are proud of our democracy. We have been clear. Major reforms to the electoral system should not be made if they lack the broad support of Canadians. I look forward to working with Canadians to continue to strengthen our democracy.